from the uh, central PA region. I am the saltiest smasher in that region. Uh, Frostwind. He's all almost. Right. He, listen. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So this is this is absolutely the snake stage. Um, yeah. Closer. I mean, yeah. Just had to adjust the mic there. Yeah. Got better. Cool. Getting confirmation from HQ. Oh, yo, ZD with the uh, up smash to flex. That was sick. Yeah, so he's just kind of laying down pressure in the middle, which is pretty solid. Just dividing the lane, make it one v ones. Kind of getting the whole idea of doubles, though. And ZD's definitely trying to keep both of, uh, both of them sandwiched between him and Seagull. Uh, yeah, and he's doing a pretty good job. And it's easier to separate on that one as well. Uh, and yeah, so yeah just so there's a lot of one confirmed. It's on off stage. The only thing with this is there's a lot of items to keep track of. You have two grenades to keep track of um, banana, pop gun, and C4. Uh, yeah, and then you got Fox Wolf Slate, which is. Yeah, like no. Seven. It'll go through everything. Yeah, and then, and then there's. Oh, that's that Spike! Was, ZD! That was into oh! Into a uh, double edge dance, though. So. Oh. Both, both, both sides losing a stock here, but. Uh, oh, Roy and. DDS. Yep, there's Snake. Just frame one out of everything. God love it. Go for Strange. I guess ledge trap on Seagull? Okay. That's really bad uh, when you're trying to get up solo. Yeah. Against against both both players and doubles. Like, you gotta be real careful with your options there. I mean, it was a good banana throw there, just like precautionary, though, because with the banana, he was able just to defend himself because it put it. Okay. It forced the snake to put his uh, grenade right in front of it. CD's gotta be careful. His shield's looking awfully low there. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Took, took two hits. Two, two really big hits on it. Uh, it's got. Got yeah. Throw, don't throw. Oh, lots of grenades. Yeah, no, this is just. A, oh, there's the up tilt, boys. Frame eight. Oh. <laughs> Seagull finally losing his first stock at uh, <laughs> two, about two hundred percent. Yeah. So high. This is one of the best moves in the game, boys. Oh, there it is. Yes, oh, I not quite. Snake's thick. He's, he's a big boy. Uh, recovering high. He ate his wheaties. Just, yeah, oh, that would have been nice. That would have been very clean. Snake's still. Uh, he's off just. Stage. Yeah, no, they're doing a really good job of just zoning, like, just camping Snake off stage. Yep, there yeah, he is. There it is. Ran out of uh, his up because I know, uh, he, Yeah, really if he would have C4, he would have died. You can't really, uh, rapid fire the Cypher either. Oh, uh, well, no, because... You can only go so far with it, unless yeah. you get hit again. Well, no, because you go so far, you get hit, and then, um, if you use it again, you go, you go, don't go as high. Yeah, exactly. Share stock already. Ooh, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of needed. Ooh. Roy at 145, they can get Roy off stage. There oh, there it is. All right, so this is a pretty even game, actually. Slight lead on blue. The one good combo, that can absolutely shut... Oh. So, I think one thing that um, ZD could do is just try to like, camp out, be a little bit more passive to control the like control the tempo. Because right now, he's letting this Roy run around his team. Yeah, I mean, both of them got sword hit boxes, but... Yeah. Roy's, Roy's confirms are... Really, really good. Uh, as we see with like prom players, you got Jad can go into the air or back air. Yeah, it's just air, yeah, it's just like the I've seen um, we could up air jab uh, bear a couple of times. Like oh, there yeah, grenades everywhere. Yeah, and no, this is still pretty okay lead for blue. I would say considering everything that's going on. Snake's snakes, snakes on the heavier side. Yeah, no, guys, snake so can absolutely will, live all of this. He'll, he'll definitely survive. But Oh, there you go. That's that's what they were that looking for. Right there. That was perfect. That's the game. That's why. It, there's there's the beep beep. That's the thing with doubles. Like throws, you gotta be real careful when you're throwing someone because their teammate can come in and punch you really hard, like we just saw there. Yeah, no, like, cause you, you either cause that throw can win you the game, or can ju you can just throw it. You can throw the game. Yep. Whether intentional or not. Like, yeah. So we'll see. If, uh, what do you think? We think we're going to see a uh, character change here? Or? Um, yeah, probably from uh, ZD and Seagull. You think so? Who, who yeah, because I, I don't uh, think the Diddy was doing too hot. It might go Palo. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. I'm thinking Palo or Wolf, probably. Well, I don't think they're going to do double Wolf, though. No, I'm, uh, I mean, it could work. Because Wolf is uh, Wolf's disadvantage all stage. Really. Yep. So we're going to Fox. Fox Palo. Yep, yep. There I it think is. this might actually work a lot more in uh, in Red Team's favor. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, Palu is just really... She, just she's just good. good. Yeah, she's just know? good. There's she's like really nothing bad about her. And then there's Fox as well, a super solid character. And they went 
they gave them Pokemon Stadium again. Okay. Or PS1, yeah. Well, I think we know that too. Yeah. All, every character, all, all the characters you've seen so far benefit off the platforms and open areas and bottom. I do think that Snake benefits the most out of the stage, though. Yeah, that C4 hitbox is, extends well below the uh, uh, platforms. Yeah, no, and it's like perfect because you can, like, let's say if you're on the right platform, like right below it, you can just back throw them onto the C4, like, mid percent, and it's going to just link into that because it's the perfect range. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you can cover Ooh, all right, let's talk stage. about this. Hold up. So they're getting some nice off, -play stage, off stage plays. Oh, there it is. Oh, but he had killed his teammate with that. Yeah. He shielded the forward ooh, smash. Ooh, we got the edge cancels. There's one thing, Seagull Joe knows his way around. Oh, no. All those edge cancels. Um, blue that. team is just killing themselves. All right. It's kind of a little bit of an argument there. Hopefully they resolved it. Well, it looks like ZD going for those up air strings that box players are known for. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. That oh, and he's jumping into the grenade. Probably tried to pick it up so he could get some stuff off of it. I like how uh, ZD's kind of waiting for uh, letting letting Joe pick an option and then trying to convert off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like because Palo in this matchup definitely has the better engage in like starting stuff. Yeah, because Fox is fast enough. And he's got that. He, uh, yeah, he can follow up. He's got the airspeed for follow ups. Because anything that gets knocked into the air is absolutely an up air zone. Oh, it's free for it's free for Fox if you're in the air. Oh, oh, there's the up smash. Never can't say I've ever seen a jab up smash like that. <laughs> I mean, we used to have that in Smash 4, but... You yeah, know, we also had the the uh, Jab Jab Infinite, which was really fun and interactive. Using, uh... Just trying to cover that recovery there. With, yeah, that was uh, solid. Reticle. Kind of like... Ooh! Alright, Queen Bear. Just barely hitting the end of that the shield there, uh, right after uh, throwing the end lag there. I'm gonna be quite impressed if Blue Team can come back with this, because they got, to say the least, quite the deficit. Having... Having, um, taken a stock from each other early on. Yeah, I think that that might have been detrimental. They could definitely use. Oh that no, that was that was now. detrimental because otherwise they'd be even. Oh yeah. It's just. But as it stands right now, they're two grabs. Oh, oh, missed time. Miss I like what he was going for there. Um, yeah, like the back hit of it to I send him out. Z ZD shield is a little wasn't sure entirely about it. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So do you believe in Roy? I, I don't know if Roy can, at this percent, I don't think he's going to be able to come back and take four stocks. I think it can be done. I mean, oh, there you go. Alright, three down. Or three to go. <laughs> but now he's got a fox at zero percent. Yeah, no, he's got a fox chasing him down. Oh, that was clean. Oh, they lobbed that. Like, they just, like, they, they've been... Oh, oh is down. this Smash 4? Tried to take him down with him, but it was not going to work. He yeah. Low percent, could easily tech it. Yeah, and, like, it wasn't even a high enough percent to tech it. Cause like if he was a little bit further away, there would have been no tank. Or yeah, yeah, that's weird. Thank you. That's one thing. Uh, Fire Emblem characters, uh, Roy, um, specifically Roy, Marci and Marcina. Um, their uppies are so good at uh, at uh, like edge guarding yeah. to just face spike someone. Yeah. With uh, Martha and Lucina being incredibly quick. Yeah, ridiculously. And having those that that launch angle they go at. at and the it's startup. so quick. It's so quick. The oh, knockback yeah. is so fast, and just the move in general. So you have to, you have to know that it's coming and be ready to tech it. You can't react to it, really. Yeah. Whereas Roy, on the other hand, it takes a little bit longer to come out, but it does tack on extra percent. So yeah, it has. It's it. the multi hits as well, which messes up a lot of people. Oh yeah. Similar thing with Falco's upbe. People don't know when to start tacking because of multi hit. So we got the same team coming from everyone, and we're on different Pokemon stage. All right. This time you can't get stage bike from underneath, but we do have those walls. Yeah, the walls are gonna make it. So if this snake is thinking that, he can potentially put C4 on the wall. That's what I was just thinking. He yeah. The edge guard, because uh, it's really hard. You can't see down there. Yeah, no, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's like per covered up by the the camera angle. And another oh. thing is teleport recoveries. Um, oh, you hate to see it. Oh, you hate to see that more. Okay. Was that, um, was that an air module stage? Um, it was an SD of some variety, I don't know, man. Yeah, no, um, these teleport recoveries on stages like this, like Palu and uh, Mewtwo, they yeah. can bounce off the ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well um, it's also kind of an advantage for Red Team, though, because um, if the worst case scenario happens, Fox can wall jump. He can wall jump. So he can mix up his recovery with like a wall jump side B or something. Oh, yeah. There it is! Yeah, ZD forgot about it. That was his crucial mistake there. So let's see what the edge guard's gonna be. All right, so we can't. Uh, all right, that was good. That was good though. He got him off. He got him back off stage so he can help his teammate. 
Yeah, and that's sometimes you oh. don't want to go for a kill. You just want to get, yeah, you get want that other player out of the way so you can go and get the, win that 2v1. Absolutely. That's one of the biggest things about uh, doubles is... Tilt. I, I mean, like there's some Melee Mara stuff. I like it. Oh, the, the timer. 27 seconds. Oh. Is it 27? Yeah. I thought it was a minute. I thought it was 30. No, it's 27. No, 30 is uh, Link's remote bomb. Yeah. Alright, so we got... Got some dares on shields. The one thing I'm noticing is, uh, though it's probably not entirely safe in this kind of a situation, um, but using Reflector against, uh, to try and, uh, Shine Spike. Well, not so much Shine Spike. Just, like, against, Gimp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even against the, uh, the grenades. Yeah, no, that's pretty, it's a pretty solid way to get out of stuff. Just wanna try- Almost at 200 percent, 197 Yeah, no. Holding on to all three stocks. Like, any tilt from Snake or Roy will kill, I think. Other than down tilt from Roy. I think strong hit down tilt will kill off the okay. side, I think. There it is. There's, There's stock, 208%. Good lord. That's one thing. Seagull's really good with how his hand surviving. Yeah, no, he's a he's a good survivor, definitely. Because he can just... He's good at dodging everything. And we got the airplane. Oh, very that was nice. very clean, yeah. I like that. Very, very good choice of uh, air dodging while falling, but Snake Shield looking incredibly low. He's got to be Looks like a little skittle. Go for the high recovery. Nope, psych. Oh, the get up attack almost saved his teammate. Al almost saved it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. If the Snake can make, if s our Snake can make some nice C4 plays, he could potentially pull this back. I. Well, they got to take care of one. Oh, of yep, that's it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, counter. That is how that you was, deal sorties. That was dirty but clean. Well, you, you just counter. If you have a counter, just counter a sortie recovery, and that's yeah. it. That's game. Yeah. They're not coming back to the stage. So it's a very good turnaround. Uh, they. It seems like they adapted a lot easier uh, than they did the first game. I